presents Dangerously Yours, a half hour of romance and adventure starring Victor Jory in Cortez the Conquistador. You know, more and more millions of people are using Vic's Vatronol nose drops to relieve distress of head colds, benefit by their experience. And now, Dangerously Yours. I am adventure. In my name, men have traversed the highways, the byways, the skyways of the world. I am the fire that burns in the heart of youth, that makes men dream and dare and conquer. I am dangerously yours. Hey, follow me to the streets of the Spain of the 16th century, where we will meet one of the first men who brought the new world within reach of the old. The man who conquered an empire, Cortez the Conquistador. The king passes! Make way for the king's carriage! Make way! The king... I must speak to the king. Let me speak to the king. Your majesty. What is this? Driver! Stop! Who are you, sir? Speak up, speak up. We're in a hurry. I am Hernando Cortez. I am the man who won you an empire. The man is crazy. Move on, move on. No, no, wait, sire. It was I, Hernando Cortez, who fought my way through the swamps and mountains of Mexico and made you ruler there. Guard, this man is making a nuisance of himself. I don't know him. Don't know me. I brought you one of the greatest empires that was ever discovered. How could you forget me when I made you an emperor? You who had only been a king before. Take this man away. He's a maniac. Take him away. May you rot in your grave. May your name be written down in insult. Stop, you fool. May you... How dare you speak to the king that way? Oh, Hernando Cortez. <laughs> That was brutal. Poor old man, his head is bleeding pretty badly. Pick him up and get him out of the road. Um, let's take him across to that tavern. Oh. Here. Drink this. <sighs> Thank you. Lie still, old man. That was a hard blow on your head. <laughs> so you're Hernando Cortez. <laughs> you were in Mexico, eh? What was it like? What was it like in Mexico? Yes, if you conquered it, if you're Cortez, you must be able to tell us something about it. What do you remember most about Mexico? What do I remember most about Mexico? I remember a man. A man so magnificent and so powerful that when he died... An entire empire crumbled and melted away and died with him. And I remember a girl, the most beautiful woman that ever lived. <laughs> Who was the girl? Who was the man? Yes, tell us. How did the adventure start? It started right here in Spain. When I was young, my blood was fired with ambitions. It started as most adventures started in those days. Hernando Cortez, you are commissioned by the King of Spain to sail for the New World in search of treasure. And you will claim all the new lands that you will discover in the name of the King of Spain. A ship's deck under my feet and a wind from the new world blowing in my face, excitement and high hopes. A rough crew, but the kind you need to conquer a new world. Lusty, hard-fighting men. Interested in just three things. Fighting, women, gold. And so we landed in Mexico. I hereby claim this land... In the name of the King of Spain. We started inland, 
hunting for the fabulous city of Tenochtitlan. And then, in a small friendly village where we stopped to rest, I met the girl. Get her off! Check her! Don't let her get away from you! Grab her! Grab her! Ah! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Take your hands off that girl, do you hear me? Take your hands off that girl. She's mine. I caught her. Is this the way you repay the hospitality of these villagers? These people who have been friendly and kind to us. Get back to your quarters, both of you. Thank you. One man I could have killed. Sit. Sit down and rest for a moment. Please. You're quite safe. Thank you. I would like to rest a little. And then I will leave you. With your permission, I will take you home. Oh, you cannot, sir. My home is far from here. No? Where is it? Tenochtitlan. Tenochtitlan? Yes. I am daughter to Montezuma. And what are you doing here? I wanted to see Hernando Cortez. You wanted to see Cortez? Why? Our runners have been bringing us messages about the progress the strange people have been making across the country. They say this Cortez is a god. They say his eyes flash lightning and everyone runs before him. I've never seen a god, so I thought I must see for myself this Hernando Cortez. And now that you have seen him... You... You are Cortez? Yes. I must go? No, no, don't be frightened. I'm not an enemy. I just rescued you from my own soldiers, didn't I? Tell me, how far are we from Tenochtitlan? Not far. Will you take us there? I don't know whether I should. I must ask my father. She stood there for an instant looking up at me, her eyes wide, her mouth questioning. And my heart, which had always been a cold thing, suddenly gathered her close and became warm inside me. I forgot about gold and empires. I only knew my heart had come home. Neither of us spoke for a moment. And then she smiled and she reached up and touched my cheek with her hand. And her touch burned like a kiss. She was gone a moment later. The next night, she returned. I will take you to Tenochtitlan. I am grateful, and my father is grateful. He says you are welcome in our city and in our hearts. Thank you. When do we start? If we travel tonight, Montezuma, my father, will embrace you by noon tomorrow. <laughs> Fernando Cortez, I am grateful to you for the protection you gave my favorite daughter. You are welcome, and I hope you will be happy here. I have prepared a palace for you and your men. You are very gracious. I am very grateful. Please, you come with me. <laughs> I have never seen so much gold. Yes, treasure for the taking, Hernando. The temples here are full of statues and bowls and, and even chairs made of solid gold. We'll get the gold, but we won't rob their temples to do it. We'll get it from any place we can. I'm in command here. You'll do as I say. Of course, Hernando, but you won't be in command long if you don't keep your mind on the king's business. You're getting soft, you're getting sentimental. I said you'd have gold and you will, but you'll have it when I say and as I say. Gold is gold, Cortez. It's easier to take it than to hunt for it in the hills. What is at hand we will take? You'd be far wiser, my friend, to busy your thoughts with your duty. Instead of an Aztec princess. Attend to your own affairs, Ricardo. And permit me to attend to mine. Ricardo is right, Hernando. You're not as good a leader as you once were. Perhaps we need a new one. You are talking mutiny, Alberti. Now get out. Get out, both of you, before I kill you. You'll see that I can take care of the king's business and the Aztec princess. <laughs> Shall we walk? The night air is cool. May I take your arm, Senor Conquistador? Of course. Tell me, how does one go about marrying a princess? Well, one speaks to the father of the princess. Had you thought of marrying? Yes, I had. I'd thought of marrying you. It is a great honor that you have just paid me, and I thank you. But you must not think of me in such a way, or go to my father because it will give him much pain to refuse you. I love you as much as it is possible for a man to love a woman. Don't you think your father would overlook the fact that I'm not of your people? My father would be honored that you would choose me. 
But you see, since I was born, I have been pledged to Ken Kishoto. Ken Kishoto? Who is he? An Aztec prince? No. He is our god of the harvest. Next week, I will go within the temple walls, and you will never see me again. And 15 days later, there will be a great religious feast day, and I will join King Kishoto. You mean you will be sacrificed? You will die? Of course. But, but you can't do that. That's wrong. Don't you understand how wrong it is? I won't let you do it. I was pledged to King Kishoto at birth. There is nothing you can do about it. Listen to me. Human lives were not meant to be sacrificed on pagan altars. Life is something to be cherished and lived. Cain Kishotl, there is no such God. Don't you understand that? There is no such God. He's nothing but a grinning, ugly statue built by your people, your priests. Your people are avid to the sight of blood. That's why they have these sacrifices. Well, they're not going to kill you, not unless they kill me first. No, 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 please. You mustn't talk like that. The gods might hear and punish us. My dear, I must die in the way that has been set out for me, in accordance with the traditions of my people. No, no, you'll do no such thing. It's too, too fantastic. You're young, you're full of life and dreams and fire. You're meant to live a rich and rounded lifetime, to love, to bear sons. Please, please don't say any more. If there were to be a man for me, it would be you. It would be you above anyone else in the world that I would choose to laugh with and to cry with. It would be your wounds that I would bind and your lips that I would seek. And oh, my darling, of all the things that I love and must leave, the only thing for which I would weep is leaving you. But you'll not leave me. You can't. I won't let you. Wait. Where are you going? I'm going for my men. And then I'm going to talk to your father. <laughs> Montezuma, your majesty, you must stop this. You can't destroy your own daughter. Human sacrifice is wrong. She has every right to live. My friend, doubtless there are many things that you will not understand about us. And that is one. She is to die according to our religion. It is her privilege and her honor. It is not a privilege nor an honor to die. It is a sad and terrible thing to die in such a way. To die for nothing. Nothing? It is our faith. But she is your daughter. Have you no love for her? She is the favorite of all my children. I love her deeply. She is not going to die, Montezuma. I will not let her die. You cannot interfere with the customs and the faith of our people. If you attempt it, you will find that my daughter will despise you. And the people will kill you. Then I will fight the people. I will fight you, and I will save her. Montezuma, I am taking you prisoner. My men are waiting outside. Shall I call them in to take you forcibly, or will you accompany me peacefully back to my quarters? How sad that you and I must now become enemies. We might have been such great friends. And now, before we've seen this this challenge through, one of us will kill the other. I am your prisoner, Nando Cortez, but I will not defy my gods. I will not defy my people. What is to be, must be. So, it is war between us. Is that not right, Cortez? Yes. That is right. From now on, it must be war between us. In just a moment, we bring you Act Two of Dangerously Yours, starring Victor Jory in Cortez the Conquistador. You know, with all the sniffling and sneezing going on these days, you'd think a lot of people are suffering from summer head colds. Well, to be sure... Some of the sniffles and sneezes are not due to head colds, but a good share of them are. And when that is the case, it is wise to use Vicks Vatronol. A few drops of Vatronol in each nostril quickly relieve the sniffly, sneezy, stuffy distress. 
This specialized medication is so effective because it starts to work instantly, right where trouble is, to bring relief in three important ways. It soothes the irritation. It reduces swollen membranes. And it helps relieve local congestion. So, friends, if you unexpectedly start sniffling and sneezing, it may be a warning sign that you're catching a summer head cold. And it's the time to use Vatronol. A few drops of Vatronol used early enough may save you many hours and even days of misery. Just try it. Follow directions in the folder. Vic's Vatronol Nose Drops. And now, Act Two of Cortez the Conquistador, starring Victor Jory. <laughs> Commander. Yes, Ricardo, what is it? What's wrong? A band of Aztecs attacked us in the street. Fifteen of our men are dead. Fifteen dead? We chased them and caught three of them. They're in the garden, the next room. They must be executed at once. We will make an example of them. We will... No, wait a minute. I think we will have Montezuma make an example of them. I think Montezuma must execute them in public and tell the people that will happen to everyone who does not obey us. At last you're using your head. I know. And I'm breaking my heart. Because he will hate me, Ricardo. And, she... and the girl will hate you. Yes. Huh. What's a girl, more or less? There are thousands of girls in the world. I know. I've seen thousands. But none like her. Well, see that the men who fought today are relieved of duty for the night. And keep the prisoners under close guard. I will tell Montezuma. And if I refuse? If you refuse, there will be war across the face of this land such as there has never been before. We will fight and kill until we have brought the people into submission. You ask me to execute some of my own people? They have murdered some of my people. They must be punished. They killed for me because they know I am your prisoner. If I do as you ask, they will think I have betrayed them, and they will be right. I betrayed them when I welcomed you here. I take it, Cortez, that you wish to rule my people now. Yes, I do. I want to rule them and teach them about my world. I want them to tear down their infidel gods and stop this bloodshed. This civilization is rotten and decadent. It has no place in the world today. I want the ugliness and the nightmares and the superstitions cleaned out of this country. There's a new world, Montezuma. A world with different truths and different standards. You have to open your windows and your gates and let that world in, or it will break down the windows and gates and come in anyway. Your people must be taught the new ways and the new thoughts. If I say to you, take my daughter, take all the gold and all the jewels and go, will you leave this kingdom and never return? Do you think in your heart that that is the solution, Montezuma? No. No, I, I do not. Because someone else would come with bigger armies. I will speak to my people. I will do as you ask. My daughter? Yes, my father. It is my wish that you marry Fernando Cortez. Father! Our civilization has reached its midnight, my daughter. By tomorrow, many of the old things will be gone. Your children will mix the Aztec blood with the Spanish. The old thoughts with the new. Oh, father. Father! Take her into your faith, Cortez. Baptize her. Take her into that faith that... that will not make her die. Thank you, Montezuma. Thank you. I wish that I could see those children. Ah, you will see them. All that I ask is that you will teach them the things of my world. But I am of this world. This afternoon, I will speak your words. And by tonight... My hour will have ended. Come, let us see my daughter baptized. And then let us go to the people. My people, listen to me. The Spaniards have come from another world. They bring new ideas. You must listen to them. You must obey them. Why is your daughter not in the temple? I do risk the anger of the gods. There is to be no more bloodshed in this country. No one is going to be sacrificed to the gods. Oh, oh, my people, 
There is a new faith to be learned. There is a new knowledge. You must listen to these men. You Traitor! must... Traitor! 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 Dear God, in heaven, an arrow through his chest. You, you must listen to this, to these people. Montezuma, let me help you. The arrow has touched my heart. The sun has set upon my day. These people are yours. Montezuma, my friend. Go quickly. My daughter is in great danger. Go quickly. Go quickly. You fools! You fools. Men, proceed with the execution and kill anyone in the crowd that moves against us. This country is going to be conquered or destroyed completely. <laughs> Oh, my darling, darling, please. Don't stay in here any longer weeping over his body. Don't you remember how you've always said an Aztec never cries? There are no more Aztecs. It is the end of all of us. He was the best that we could be. And now the best is gone. This is your kingdom now, Hernando. You have only to claim it, make of it what you will. I saw a great man die today. I saw him die in such a proud way that he made me more humble than I've ever been. I know that he had to die, but I will always grieve for him, and I will always miss him in this country. Listen. Why, what is that? Those are the temple drums of the high priests. They are coming for me. For you? The Cloddo! Alberti! Call them in! I sir! Please! Please, I don't want you to fight them. You must let me go. Let you go? Are you mad? Even your father did not want this for you. Don't you understand? Tonight you rule this city in Montezuma's place. But if you oppose them, they will fight and kill until the streets run with blood. Then the streets will run with blood. I will not let them have you. You cannot reform them in one night. So many have died. What does one more matter? This is the last religious feast day in many months. Perhaps by the next you can reform them. Let me go, Hernando. No, no. I will not let you go. If you attempt to hold me, thousands of my people and yours will lose their lives. Carlotta, I'm not going to stand by and see you killed. Your life is worth any price. My life is not worth as many lives as will be lost. And if yours is among them, then Montezuma died for nothing. And everything is lost. He believed in you. He believed in the new world you promised to bring to Mexico. Carlotta, Carlotta... I love you. I... I want to take you back to Spain. I... I want to put you in a great house and give you satin dresses and jewels and Spanish shawls and... I want you alive and warm, always within the reach of my arms. Always within the reach of my heart. I will always be in reach of your heart. Even though you must go back to Spain without me. I would never be happy there. That would be a prison. You and I have had all the happiness there is for us in this lifetime. Let us be grateful for that and not be greedy for what we cannot have. Carlotta, no. Don't ask this of me. Let me fight for you. The men are just outside. Shall I call them in? They are waiting for me. Carlotta, you're asking me to be braver than I am. What would your father do? What would he say? Montezuma would say, peace, go with you. Montezuma would say, we must think of what is for the greatest good. I am his daughter, and I know what he would say, just as I know what I must do. Goodbye, Hernando. Carlotta. Goodbye, my darling. Remember, I will always be within reach of your heart. She's gone. Yes. Gone. Peace go with you. My darling. Now I know why, for you, Hernando, it could only be an Aztec princess. Those are the things I remember about Mexico. 
an Aztec princess, and a man so magnificent that when he died, an entire empire crumbled and melted away. And I remember happiness and heartbreak, and all done in the name of a king who does not remember or care how he came by Mexico. <laughs> you must be proud of your conquest, Cortez. <laughs> yes. Yes, I am proud, but not of conquest. I am proud of two things. That Montezuma came to respect me. And that his daughter loved me. Well, let us help the old man home, James, and be on our way. We've had a good afternoon's entertainment. Entertainment? You... You don't believe me? We've heard old men's tales before, Senor Cortez... We listen, but we don't take them too seriously. It would have been nice, just once more, to have someone believe me. Well, what does it matter? Yes. What does it matter, Hernando? What's that? What's that, Carlotta? What does it matter, Hernando? We know that it's true. Oh, my darling. My darling. I've missed you. Missed you desperately. There was no reason to miss me. I was always here. Within reach of your heart. Please. Don't leave me again, Carlotta. Please don't leave me. I'm so tired of being alone. So tired of wandering. You won't be alone ever again. And there will be no more wandering. You're home now, my darling. You're home. May I take your arm, Senor Conquistador? <laughs> Many women are guilty of throwing away their youthful charm simply because they fail to live sensibly and get enough certain indispensable vitamins and iron. Don't let that happen to you. Don't let your youthful charm slip needlessly away. Follow the simple method so many smart women have discovered. Just live sensibly and take Vitamins Plus once each day. You see, Vitamins Plus gives you full protective amounts of all the certain indispensable vitamins and iron you must have to feel and look as young as you should. So make it your health charm routine. Vitamins Plus, just once each day. I am adventure. If you would know me, listen to my call. I am that fire that burns in the heart of youth, that makes men dream and dare and conquer. Until next week, then, when I bring you another great adventure, I am dangerously yours. Our script was written by Gene Holloway and directed by Richard Sandville. Princess Carlotta was played by Inga Adams. Montezuma was played by Juano Hernandez. Music for the series is under the direction of Mark Warno. Be sure and listen in again next week when Vix presents Dangerously Yours, starring Victor Jory. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System. <laughs>